Arkansas 52, BYU 35. We won't spend forever on this one, but definitely something to pay attention to uh, with, you know, another SEC team. And BYU always, like, I, I was so wrong about this BYU team. I just, I, I don't know, I don't even know where to begin. Um, the defense is not as good. The running backs, not as good. Like, Christopher Brooks was all right, 10 attempts for 53 yards. Uh, the receiving core just never came into their own. They did have a big day yesterday. Uh, Cody Epps was nine here. I'll pull it up on the screen so you can see it. Cody Epps, nine receptions for 125 yards and a touchdown. Puka Nakua, 141 yards on eight catches for one touchdown. Uh, but, yeah, Gunnar Romney didn't play. Like, they, they just couldn't get any of their guys healthy. And I I just I thought that this was a 10-win BYU team. I thought they were showing up because they had so many guys back. They understood everything that was going on. And Arkansas put up 644 yards on them, um, 7.9 yards per play. Like, just K.J. Jefferson coming back, five touchdowns, 367 yards passing on 29 out of 40. Uh, he had 10 rushes for 32 yards. They tried not to run him too much. Uh, yeah, zone six at Arkansas could have scored 90, but they called the Hogs off. Yeah, I mean, Arkansas only scored one touchdown in the fourth quarter. Like, they, they had 45 before the third quarter. Just insane. Uh, that 24-point that second quarter for Arkansas is where this all went south for BYU. Like, BYU still put up 35 on Arkansas, so that's, that's one thing. But, man, just Matt Landers. Eight catches for 99 yards. Trey Knox, four catches, 66. Like, this Arkansas team is is not just dead. They're not just gone. Um, but, man, it sure looked like it when they had lost three straight and things had just kind of – that loss at Mississippi State was rough. I mean, it was rough. All right, finally, let's uh, – oh, yeah, cheers cheers to the Hogs, by the way. Sam Pittman, absolutely phenomenal job over in Provo. That, that's a rough spot to go play. So, cheers to you. Hey, an interesting uh, video that came out. One of the Arkansas reporters said that he had never seen this before. Um, I know we've seen it multiple times here, but the BYU uh, school has greeters when the team arrives. So they're out there, like, shaking hands and being nice and everything. And I don't know if that is, like, a, a mental thing that they're trying to, you know, kind of ease their opponent down. Or if it's just what they do as far as their religious affiliation. Like, are they just nice to everybody all the time? Like, I'm, I'm very curious. I've seen this go on, and I've never thought about the mental implications or the mental impact when it comes to the actual game itself. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.